And she's the most nervous one. I am. <laughs> I also band? don't know why I'm here. We're in like, we're in like a band and this is our first show. You don't have to be here if you don't want to. There's the door. Um, you, you worked in the offices of Canadian Art for a while and you've written for Canadian Art to see and all the Canadian publications, writing reviews, etc. What was it like working in the office of Canadian Art? I guess it's like working in every other office where everyone gets made fun of behind the back. So, <laughs> if, if they deserve it, if they deserve it. If they're really nice people, they're spared. If you're an asshole, you're not going to be spared. So, you know, I don't know, you're all like, you know, nice. Did Brian read your, um, your uh, horoscope for the morning? I can't remember what was on. Anyways, he used to do that to everybody when I worked there. He would be like, Sagittarius! And he would just like, go like, and like read everybody's zodiac sign in the office at the beginning of the day. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, how did you get into art writing? Did you also go to U of T? Or, sorry, how did you I get did into go writing? to U of T. I um, did a double major in art history and visual studies. Yeah. So I was making art at the time, and that's, I used a lot of text. In my art, which was like horribly conceptual and overly dense, like most art students work for this. Um, and then I wrote like something for school, which I then submitted to Kelly Mark's sample size at that time. Really Who's Mark. in the back row? Kelly Mark! Yeah. Oh. So I actually never met Kelly, so. Oh, you've never met her for real? No, ever? I've never seen this her. This is her first time. Stand up! Stand up! <laughs> <laughs> I've just this seen her from This has to happen. Anyway, <laughs> you can make out later if you want. Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> also, with that Mickey there, you've got to get the handing around of the Mickey on camera. Oh. That's where the art starts. It's all right. <laughs> um, what's the hardest thing writing about art? In general? Yeah. Getting my ass over the door. <clears throat> Actually. Have you ever written a review of an art show that you have then never actually seen but just looked on the gallery's website? <laughs> no. But I recently wrote about something that I was forced to write about. That I didn't like. And who asked you to do that? <laughs> well, it was. Uh, <laughs> it, was through, it was through Leah indirectly, but it was for <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, you didn't think. I got paid quite pleasantly for that. But was it a catalog of things? No, no, it was for OCAD's alumni magazine. Oh. And I think Bill Clark has oh. also written. I Bill Clark, they, well. they pay really they well. Pay well. 75 they cents pay? a word. 75 cents a word for like 1,200 words, yeah. so that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. The hard critic lottery. Yes, I can sacrifice, you know, my dignity for that, sure. <laughs> that's funny because I got a call from the editor of that uh, that magazine called her name was like Larissa Kostoff, and she was interviewing me for an article for that magazine. She's like, da 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 da, and she's like, wow, what you've done is really great. And then she said, I, 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 I really respect art critics because it's something that I can't do. I do not have the authority to write about art. <laughs> and I thought that that's really interesting that somebody who publishes a magazine for OCAD said something like that to me. <laughs> but then it's also like, wow, you know, like art writing is pretty valuable and it's something that maybe we should take for granted or stop doing because just because there is no pay. You know? <laughs> so that's another kind of contribution. Okay, next up we have um, I've got a statement. We have one person left. And that's you, Leah, Leah Sandals. Oh! 